Hey, everybody good? Happy to be here. Uh, obviously, uh, last week was a bye week, a great week for us to, uh, to get back and focus on ourselves. I thought our players did a tremendous job in all areas. Obviously, it gives you a good week to, to focus on academics, get a good week to focus on, on you know, getting yourself you know, feeling a little bit better, the bumps and bruises of our game, and, and going through that and to focus on you know, some study, you know, some self-scout, studying themselves, what they can do a little better, what we can do better on all three phases of our game. So I thought we did a good job of that. Obviously, prior to that, we did play Minnesota, and that was a really good game. Really proud of our players for the way they came out and played in that game. Offensively, defensively, special teams, played with great energy. And um, I thought we came back and, and did a very good job in that football game. So uh, it was a great week, a great week. And obviously now we're getting ready to play Michigan, which everybody knows is a national program, a tremendous, tremendous football team. Obviously, you know, some of the best recruits each and every year. We all know that. Coach Harbaugh is uh, you know, one of the best coaches in our game, and offensively they do a lot of things. They create a lot of different challenges for our defense. And on defense, Coach Brown is, is one of the best defensive coordinators I've ever gone against. And uh, I think you know, statistically on defense, they're you know, almost number one in every category. It seems like year in and year out, no matter where he's been, they play with just tremendous passion. And then again, they have great players. So a tremendous challenge for us, great opportunity for our players. We're excited to go play. So, any questions? Coach, the challenge ahead, competing in the Big Ten East as a competitor, uh, what's the most, I guess, exciting thing for you to be? Uh, and it is a challenge with four top 20 teams in this division, quite a gauntlet ahead of them for you guys. As a competitor, as somebody who likes a challenge, what does this mean to you? Jump in the deep water with the big sharks, right? Um, that's what you want to do. You want to play the best and you want to be around the best. And certainly our, our conference right now is doing a tremendous job. And you talk about those teams, but all the teams in the league are playing very, very well. And this is the next one on our, you know, on our schedule. We're excited to go play them, go to a, a very storied stadium, a very storied program. And um, our guys are excited to go play. So it'll be a, a great opportunity. Dave. Certainly the players are excited. But uh, what does it mean to you to go up, uh, go to the big house as a head coach, uh, go and match wits with uh, Jim Harbaugh? Well, I'm going as the offensive coordinator, as we know, um, not the head coach. But, uh, you know, I think, again, it's a tremendous, they have a tremendous staff. A lot of those guys, you know, I've known from afar, know some of them a little bit better through different places in our careers. And, again, uh, Coach Harbaugh, you know, speaks for himself all the places he's been, the great player he was. And, and again, again on defense, I think uh, you know, what they do on defense is, is as good as anybody in the country. So it's a tremendous challenge that way. But our players, it's always about our players. And, our players are excited to go play. You know, our players feel good about where they are, and they're excited to go play. Matt, can you talk about uh, Lorenzo's injury and and what that does? Uh, you know, what 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 you know, your feelings about losing him, and then also what it means for the uh, running back uh, room, and and also uh, update the other injuries if you can. Yeah. Well, obviously, it's a tremendous. Uh, you know, just for Lolo, it's hard. I mean, he's a great, great young man, and had come back and was probably as feeling as good as he had felt. You know, that day of practice, we we he'd gotten back, but we didn't have to play him against Minnesota, and um, he was feeling great, made a great run. And, you know, it was a non-contact situation where, you know, that's, that's part of the, the deal with with you know athletics. Sometimes it's just a, an interesting, hard situation. So uh, everything went well. Obviously, it's documented. He's you know he had surgery. He's out for the year. But everything went as well as it could go, and uh, they're feeling very good about where he'll be as it moves forward. So uh, for us at running back, it's a, it's a loss because he's a great player. We have a lot of depth at running back, but but he's a great player. So um, we'll have to continue to have guys step up. But it's certainly disappointing, mostly for him, because he worked so hard, and, and we'd seen his flashes in the game when he could go in and make some great plays. So disappointed for him, but he's handling it well. Um, you know, and he'll, he'll bounce back, and I know he's going to have a tremendous career. I don't have any doubt about that. He's a great player. As far as the other guys, injury, you know, not getting specific, but everybody, but the, Jake Funk will still not be back this week, uh, except with the exception of Jake. Everybody else, we're hopeful, will be back on Saturday. Um, you know, the week, the bye week gives you a chance to get some of those guys back. Uh, we won't know for sure. Obviously, we'll practice in this afternoon. Um, so we'll kind of see where we are today, tomorrow, Thursday, and we'll see where we go Saturday. But right now, we're, we're hopeful that everyone will be back. 
Uh, first, just kind of the injury note, was Johnny Jordan injured or was that just a result of other guys coming back and moving over? Johnny was injured for the last game, yes. Is he included in the group that is? Yeah, we're expecting him to be back on Saturday. Um, and then going off that, with the offensive line kind of constantly shuffling around for the first few games, how, how does that affect the offense? You know, I think we were fortunate to have a lot of depth up front. I think we said that going in, and obviously we've had some injuries which have had certain guys out, a couple of tackles here and there, and then you go Johnny. But uh, I think it allows a lot of guys to play. I think they've played well for the most part, and we've had a couple times in different games. We haven't played as well as we wanted, like you always do. But um, you know, we we had practiced through camp, you know, with different you know different guys in at different spots, with the thought of having a lot of guys play. We weren't doing it to plan on a lot of guys being injured, but that's kind of what's happened. So we're fortunate that we prepared that way, and I think they're doing a good job with it. Coach, defensively, you guys lead the Big Ten in getting off the field on third down. Uh, what are some of the seeds, what are some of the ingredients in that uh, for your defense, the success you guys have had on third down? I think they're, they're playing very, very hard. I mean, I think our defense is playing hard. They're playing together. They're playing assignment sound football. They're keeping the ball in front of them, which all those things are a big deal in there. And they're taking pride on you know getting off the field on third down. And that's it's the big down on both sides of the football. Obviously on offense we had the you know the one game when we were so poor. Um, but you know our defense has played very, very well and they're getting off the field, they're getting the ball back to the offense. And that's you know, that's certainly something that, that wins football games. Taking care of the football, ball security, and obviously getting off the field on third down. I mean, those are big, big deals. Coming off a of bye week, um, how do you keep the momentum of winning against Minnesota and then playing against a top defense and a top 20 team? Well, I think our guys are certainly, you know, they had a very good feel coming off the Minnesota game. And I think that's where, you know, I don't think there's any magical formula on when, you know, if you come off a, a tough game and you have a week off, it's like when you think about it longer, if you have a win, do you not? So I don't think there's any great system for that. I think our guys worked very hard last week. Um, and we made sure we focused on us. Which, which I think we have to do as a staff. We felt that was the best thing for us. And, and again, I mean, you're playing, you're in the Big Ten. Every week's, every week's a big week. We're treating every week the same. Every week, you know, this is the, the biggest game we have because it's the game this week. And that's what it was two weeks ago, and that's what it will be moving forward. So, but it is a tremendous challenge. They're a great, great football team. We all know that. Matt, you, you, one of the things you seemingly always are asked about every week are penalties. Um, do you do anything to, you know, specifically in terms of working with guys? Uh, is, it, is it film work? Is it on the field technique? Uh, obviously, not only for you, but for other teams. I mean, Michigan is a heavily penalized team. Ohio State is. And it doesn't necessarily translate to wins and losses, but it would seem in a game like this, there's less of a margin for error in that in that regard. Right. You don't want to have any penalties. And if you look at our, we've had two games and we had quite a few. Um, one was a lot on the offense and one was a lot on the defense. So uh, for us, we do, we probably put them in two different categories. I mean, there's no talent penalties, right? There's penalties when you just jump, false start or you jump off sides or things that, that take no talent to do. It just takes no talent to get off on the count. It takes no talent, you know, to line up on sides. Um, to have the right personnel in or on in the game. Then you have heat of the game, you know, penalties, you know, holding, base mass, pass interference, some of those things, which we certainly are talking about, but we want guys to play hard. We're not going to play with fear. We're not going to play scared. But obviously you can't have penalties. So where's that line? Uh, I'm not sure we have the answer. I'm not sure anybody does. We want our guys to play hard. We've been very proud of how hard our kids have played, how hard they've played together. Um, so we're going to continue to, you know, talk about that, be positive about that, but we can't have penalties. You can't beat yourselves. And, and certainly we've had that happen in a couple of games where we've cost ourselves some, some, some opportunities. So we talk about it, but we're not uh, we're not gonna slow our guys down and have a play, you know, play less, you know, less intense to not do that, but certainly we want to coach it. So we're we're working on it. It's not a great answer for you, but that's that is the we any no talent issues, we're talking about that a lot. Here the game, can't do that. You know, personal unsportsmanlike conducts, there's no reason for those. So those things we're certainly talking about a lot. But here the game stuff we're just working on. And is there a smaller margin for error in, in certain games, especially if you're on the road in a game like this? I think every game's that way. I mean, every game you play is, is, is you know it comes down to three, four, five plays, right? Unless you just unless it's just really a lopsided game. Either way, every game you can go back, and I can go back through games for how many years I've been doing this and talk about these, especially the ones you lost. I mean, these these were the plays. 
I can tell you right now which plays were, you know, 2003, I can give you five plays in a game you lost right now. So those are the ones you remember, and sometimes it is a penalty. You know, a long touchdown, and how did he call, you know, it, you know, it doesn't matter. So I think every game there's a very small margin for error because the momentum, you know, back to your question, you know, momentum is, is, a, is a real funny thing in our sport, right? Sometimes you get going and you feel good and it swings and it goes back, and those penalties have a lot to do with that. So I think the margin of error is very small. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Always. Coach, Michigan does a great job getting to the passer this year. Chase Winovich, uh, Winovich, Devin Bush, what makes them special? What jumps off the tape at you? Chase, uh, he plays so hard. And their whole defense does. I don't want that to come off wrong. But, but he, I have a tremendous, I don't you know, have any history, don't know him, but he, I have a tremendous amount of respect for that young man because he plays so hard. And um, he's an intense football player. They've done a great job with him. You mentioned Bush. I mean, that's another guy that plays very, very hard. It's a traditional Michigan linebacker that runs to the football. But they, they run to the football. They do a great job getting their hands up. They knock a lot of balls down. I mean, there's a reason they're one of the top defenses in the country. They have great players, and they play really, really hard. And they have, in my opinion, one of the best coordinators around, so they have a great scheme. So that's a pretty good combination for playing great defense. But uh, they play very, very hard, and uh, you know, that's a tremendous challenge. Take two more. Dave, Coach, perhaps unfairly, but would you per consider this to be a litmus test on how good you guys are? It's, it's, thus far, it's been pretty hard to assess given the past couple of games, but uh, playing in Michigan might, may, maybe will tell us. Yeah, I, mean, I think every week, I think you know, to your point, it's probably really good, right? Two weeks ago, we were very good. The next week, we played a pretty, you know, played a little bit better. So I don't think we're looking at it that way. This is the game of the week. It's the most important game we have. We're going to play as good as we can play. Hopefully we play well. If we don't, we're going to be standing here next week. We're going to be talking about finding a way to play good the next week. If we do, we're going to be standing here next week talking about finding a way to play good again. So every week is the week. Every game is the game. And we're not, we're not going to do that. I, mean, I appreciate your question, but no, I don't, I don't see it that way. Just to follow on their, their pass rush, does, does your run, your, your ability to run and break off long long runs, especially with uh, Anthony and, and, and Ty, does that sort of, is that something that can keep their pass, keep them out of your backfield if you, if you can, if you can have that early success? I mean, obviously we want to, we want to have early success. I mean, we always want to try to do that, but they're, they're pretty, they're really good against the run too. There's a reason everybody gets in third long against them because they don't let you gain yards on first and second down. I mean, I, Obviously, you know, you guys have watched them. They're, you know, I mean, they, they are a tremendous football team. And I might say I focus on the defense because that's my job. They're really good on offense, too. They have great weapons on offense. and They put up a whole bunch of points a couple of weeks ago. and um, So they're great in all areas. They're special teams. I mean, they, you know, they're, they're trying to block punts every play and everything else. So they are really, really talented, and they're very, very well coached. Um, but, you know, we're going to try to – we'll try our best to do what we do well, just like they're going to try to do what they do well. And that's, you know, games are fun. I still, I mean, that's the, the best part about this is game is the game, and, and sometimes you play well, and sometimes you don't. But you know, we're excited to, to put in the plays and, and see what happens, and I'm sure they have the same feeling. They've got an answer to everything we do, and it's just a matter of you know the next play, what their answer is, and what we can do, and what they do, and what we can do back, and on all in all three phases. And that's the beauty of football, and that's the beauty of, of going out and playing on Saturday. But we're excited to go play a, a great football team in a great atmosphere and see what happens. Our kids deserve a chance to go to go play again and they're excited. A week off, you know, they're excited to play. Thanks, Coach.